Welcome back to the Olivier Theatre Awards, and we come now to the award for Best Actor of the Year. And the nominations this year are Al Pacino for Death of a Salesman, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh for Richard III, and then two actors, both from the same remarkable new play, Stench by Harold Barkworthy. <laughs> and the nominees are John Daniels in the role of Mr. Trotter and David Forbert in the role of Mr. Gannett. Now, these are four fine actors, and I'm sure they'd all agree that the point is not to win, but to play the game. And the winner is... John Daniels! No, oh, shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, John is unable to be with us tonight, and so I'd like to ask his co-star, David Forbert, to accept the award on his behalf. <laughs> David. Uh, David. David, um, perhaps you'd like to say a few words, David. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a delight it is to accept this award on behalf of my close personal acquaintance, <laughs> John Daniels. John cannot unfortunately accept it himself because he is in Hollywood, starring in his first major film role with Meryl Streep. I am, however, not in Hollywood. <laughs> not having been offered even a minor role in an eight millimeter pornographic movie. <laughs> but what a delightful object it is that John has won. Although, you know, I'm sure I will very soon receive one myself when I next buy 10 gallons of petrol at a Texaco. <laughs> So what is it that Johnny has got that makes him stand apart from other actors of his generation? Well, I think we all know the answer to that one. Syphilis. <laughs> and what a great and heartwarming thing it is <laughs> that he has already started passing it on to a whole new generation of younger actors. Of course, to win an acting award is always a great honour, but to receive one here in the heart of London's famous West End on an occasion such as this hugely diminishes that honour. <laughs> what could be more dull than these sordid, back-slapping sessions where has-beens in tuxedos hand over to even older has-beens in tuxedos awards for plays that closed the week before they opened because the audiences were clamouring instead for tickets to Andrew Lloyd Webber's latest rearrangement of a Vita to suit the vocal range of Kylie Minogue. I therefore cannot say what a delight it is that John has won this award instead of me. And I should like to announce my retirement from the acting profession in order to begin a lifetime of work amongst the mentally handicapped. <laughs> in which capacity I look forward to meeting all the members of the judging panel very soon. Thank you. 